Hey YouTube, glad you guys are back. Uh, sorry I apologize for the delay in filming. I've been working on a uh, project at work and basically I've been doing a lot of uh, 11 and 12 hour days which kind of cut into uh, being able to uh, make very many videos. But today I wanted to talk about canoes. Uh, canoes are one of my favorite patterns. Uh, it definitely is one of my uh, definite top threes. Uh, trappers, copperheads, and canoes. I love them. Uh, this is the first canoe that I actually got, and this is a uh, Rough Rider. This is from their uh, titanium series. So it has the uh, titanium coated uh, blade, which uh, is a really super nice uh, spear point. It has a nice uh, swedge on top, so it gets nice and thin. They're really, uh, really nice knife. And I like how the uh, dye, it was a lot darker. It was almost a black, but it's faded into this really super cool looking gray. And I love seeing the, the grain in the uh, bone. It just looks really super nice. And here's the other side. It's it's almost like a brownish gray color now instead of uh, being you know dark black like when I first got it. And I don't know if that's just from having it in my pocket or not. It has a secondary pen blade, again, coated with their uh, titanium. Uh, so this is uh, 440A stainless and uh, does have that uh, coating to protect the blade. Just a beautiful knife. I, I really like it. And the thing that uh, gets me is that uh, they have two series, Rough Rider does, with the uh, titanium series and then the uh, black smooth bone. So check, they're both the same where they have a, a black uh, die on the bone and a blacked out uh, blade with the titanium coating. Uh, but yeah, you can check that uh, to see, you know, if one series doesn't have the pattern you're looking for, you might want to look in the other and see where it goes. But yeah, fit and finish, really nice. Just a, it's just a really good all around uh, pocket knife. These guys uh, are pretty excellent. And then uh, the second canoe that I got <clears throat> was from the Rough Rider Blue Mule series. This is their, uh, basically, I guess the, the cheapest line. It has a blue G10 uh, scale on it, which I, I liked it. I liked the texture of this uh, G10, uh, threaded bolsters. But if you notice, very little badging. Uh, there are no big R's on the bolster or anything else. So everybody that kind of wants maybe a less, uh, you know, billboarded knife, this might be one to get. They have several different patterns in this one. Again, the uh, same uh, blade steel, the 440A. You have a nice uh, pen blade here. And you also have your spear point uh, main blade here which uh, this spear point to me seems like it's just a little bit more, uh, I guess, bulbous, but I guess it's, it's because it doesn't have the swedge on top. See, everything is uh, just straight all the way, all the way down to the spear. So it's kind of more like, almost like a, uh, a Swiss army knife spear than that. And also you'll see this has like the long match strike, match strike pull. And these just have a uh, nail nick that's also uh, the uh, match strike uh, type. We'll go ahead and set these guys down. Recently, I picked up a knife I'd been looking for for a while. And they were kind of hard to get for a little while. And this is the Case Canoe. Uh, this is the one in uh, CV. But it has the nice uh, etch with the uh, Native American paddling a canoe, which uh, to me just kind of makes these knives. I think that's a really nice touch. Uh, but again, you know, it's got a really nice uh, spear point blade. Uh, no half stops on this guy. And this is in the uh, CV steel. So it will develop a patina or you can force a patina on it. Really nice uh, pen blade. Uh, just all around good knife. Uh, this is the amber uh, peach seed bone jigging, which uh, super nice. 
Really love the color on this side with the uh, case shield. It just looks really super cool. And uh, this is, you know, just a really beautiful, beautiful knife. Uh, this guy probably won't see a lot of use. I, I just want to keep it nice. Uh, it's less of a work knife maybe than the other ones. But I did get this little guy and this one just, it delights me. Uh, this is a Queen City uh, mini canoe, and this is in the uh, Black Lip Pearl, which uh, to me, this is just one of the prettiest knives uh, that I've seen. It's you know probably the prettiest one that I own, but it's just the right size. It's got a nice little spear point blade like the rest of them, and it has the uh, Queen City on the uh, tank stamp there. These are the ones that are made in uh, China, but I gotta tell you, fit and finish on this knife is perfect. Very small uh, pin. Uh, Case would call this a uh, butter bean. This is just, uh, look, look, at, look at that, how beautiful that uh, black lip pearl is. I had never really been interested in this as a scale material. Uh, I saw one of Tobias's uh, videos a while back and he had, uh, I think a cub lock back and a couple other ones that were in this uh, pearl and saying that they were a great uh, Sunday uh, knife. And I totally agree. Uh, this, I, I took this to our Easter gathering and everyone that uh, saw it commented on it. Everybody liked it. It's, I mean, fit and finish is really great. Look how nice and thin those blades are. There's no rubbing on the scales or anything. Uh, beautiful, smooth back springs, uh, just, you know, threaded bolsters, not a lot of, uh, you know, branding or anything like that. The one thing I did think that was interesting is it says uh, Queen City on the uh, main blade, but then on the uh, pen blade. Oh, it does say Queen, Queen City. I'm sorry. Wow, I made a mistake, YouTube. Don't uh, prosecute me too hard. I thought it just said Queen. But hey, those things happen. Uh, yeah, yeah, this is uh, totally unscripted and live. <laughs> but you guys already knew that. Uh, yeah, these are just, this knife, I, I have to say that this one, it just delights me, which is, uh, is something that uh, I can't say about a lot of stuff. Some things I think of as just a tool, like our uh, good uh, blue uh, canoe here. This guy, he's a he's a working beast. I mean, this is just, what a great blade shape. What a great knife this is. And, uh, you know, when you uh, think about a good work knife, I mean, this is exactly what you want. It's a nice pattern. It rides in the pocket well. Uh, and it's an inexpensive. Uh, these things are, I think the last time I looked, they're still under $8 uh, for one of these. That's a fantastic bargain. If you haven't tried... Uh, traditional and you're not sure you like one maybe you don't like one with the uh, with the R on the bolster or the slants or the Rough Rider badge try one of these blue mule ones they uh, they are really uh, a sweet knife uh, for the uh, the money and they have several different uh, patterns in there but yeah we'll open these guys up so you can get a get a good look at the uh, the different blades like I said it's just a really uh, nice uh, pattern. I, I really do like the canoe. Uh, I got to tell you, the copperheads, they kind of steal the show for me. Uh, oh yeah, we can go over a little bit because uh, like a lot of people noticed, it does look like a canoe, you know, with your bolsters going up over the tangs and over the front, which makes it a really nice uh, knife in your pocket because it doesn't catch on a lot of stuff. You don't have any uh, tang or anything that, that's hanging out there to uh, get caught on keys or anything like that. But yeah, it's a, it's a smaller, uh, knife, but you know, one of the guys that was there said that is just the perfect size, uh, which is true for a gentleman's knife. I, I think you can't go wrong with something like that. In fact, having this first, uh, queen, uh, city knife, I'm definitely going to pick up some more of those. Uh, they are excellent. Uh, I, I have seen some reviews of 
uh, the other one, the uh, brown saw cut bone. And I might even pick up an abalone, I'm not sure. But uh, this is my canoe connection, or connection, yeah, good one. Another mistake, YouTube, sorry. <laughs> I'm batting a thousand. What can I say? It's uh, It's been a long week. Uh, but, uh, you guys understand, especially you, you working guys like me, but anyways, this is my, uh, canoe collection. Uh, I love them all. They are a, a lot of fun, uh, to own, to collect, uh, definitely a pattern that I will uh, remain interested in for a long time. But yeah, it's neck and neck with the, uh, copperheads with the, uh, canoes. I, I love them better. The more, when I take them out and I, handle them and everything, it makes you go, wow, you know, I really need to get some more of these. Uh, then uh, the next thing catches your eye. And it's just uh, the way it goes with this uh, knife hobby. It's it's fun. And uh, I guess they say the first part of, uh, you know, is admitting that you have a problem. And uh, yeah, I have a problem. What can I say? <laughs> I hope there's no cure. Anyways, uh, you guys have a good day. Uh, maybe if I'm lucky, I might uh, publish another couple of uh, videos this weekend uh, because I have been behind and I really kind of want to uh, get back in this. Sorry for the, uh, the late posting, but uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, please comment. I really enjoy reading your comments and I enjoy uh, developing a, a relationship with all of my subscribers and uh, my frequent commenters and uh, I'm just really glad you guys are out there I appreciate each and every one of you and so have a good uh, a good day I hope you guys enjoy this and I'll see you in the next one bye